It's Amanda here and today I'm doing the $1,000 fantasy Sephora cart tag that was originally started by Emily Noel. As soon as I saw her video, I knew I wanted to make my own video for this tag. This sort of shopping cart style video is something that I'm well acquainted with on my channel. I've been doing a series called Colourpop Overload for quite a while here on my channel where I build recommendations for ColourPop purchases on a hundred dollar budget. I've done a couple other sort of shopping cart style videos so this is a format that I really enjoy. It's a really fun way to do sort of a wish list video and I'm excited, I'm into it. I have my choices ready and I am going to share with you all of the super fancy stuff at Sephora that I would buy. I'm not going to, but I would. So let me scooch on over here and I'll put my shopping cart right here on the screen so you can sort of shop along with me. Now, if I had just free reign in Sephora, the first thing that I would go for is something that I would otherwise never buy myself and that is a really fancy bottle of perfume. I've had my eye on this Tom Ford perfume. Forgive me if I butcher this. I know, I might sound like an idiot. Tobacco Vanille. This is a fragrance that every time I go into Sephora, I go and I smell it and I pretend like I could ever spend $240 on a bottle of perfume. I just can never bring myself to do it, but in this fantasy land of a thousand dollar shopping cart at Sephora. It's the first thing that's going in my cart. Now, if you know me, you know the next thing that I'm going to after I buy my ridiculously expensive fragrance. I'm going to the eyeshadow palettes and the first little section, the first little gondola that I'm going to is Pat McGrath because her palettes are so expensive and I know they're beautiful. I know everybody loves them. I it's they're really expensive. $125 for 10 eyeshadows is it's pretty intense. I know everybody's going crazy for the Divine Rose to the latest palette that just dropped. That one looks super pretty. However, that's not the one I would get. I would go for the Mothership 5 Bronze Seduction. This red metallic shade just looks delicious. I absolutely want to eat it. If I spent $125 on a palette, I would not eat any part of it, but it looks yummy and I want it. So that's the next thing in my cart. Right after Pat, in the world of super duper expensive eyeshadow palettes, we have Natasha Denona. And I would pick up this little Sunrise palette. It has so many shades in there that I really, really love. Of course, I love a warm, orangey, brown, nudie type of vibe, but it also has a gorgeous yellow. I'm really hooked on yellow and there's a bunch of really really pretty purples in there. Purple is my favorite eyeshadow color so I feel like I would just really enjoy this palette. I would get a lot of looks, a lot of fun looks, a lot of wearable looks. The Sunrise palette would be my next pick. Lastly for eyeshadow palettes, a newer release. This one might still be on my real life radar and not just in my fantasy cart. Let me know if you'd be interested. It's the latest palette from Melt Cosmetics. It's called She's In Parties. I just got the Rust palette and I love it. I am hooked on it. I am crazy about it. I just haven't quite jumped on this mauve purpley color scheme because it looks like it might be just a little bit too deep, dark, smoky, vampy for me. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just not necessarily my style. But, you know, in fantasy land, add it to the cart. Next up, I'm gonna go crazy on some lip products. I don't typically have too much of a problem dropping a little bit of extra coin on a great lip product because I love tinted lip balms, I love lip oils, and anything that feels like both a color cosmetic and a skincare product, I can kind of justify that to myself more. I feel like I'm getting a lot for my money. Those are the type of products that I use over and over again and I use up. So I don't necessarily 
feel too bad about dropping a little bit extra money on a great lip product. Let's talk about a couple of expensive lip products. I have not purchased, but I am definitely very interested in, and I'm obviously not gonna buy all of these because it's a crazy amount of money to spend at one time on lip products, but I might be tempted to picking one of these up. Okay, so first up is from Marc Jacobs Beauty. This is the Enamored Hydrating Lip Gloss Stick in the shade Moco Chocolata. Oh, that's fun to say. That one's $29. Pretty pricey for a lipstick, not too crazy. Samantha March is the one that makes me want that, by the way. Next up is from Patrick Ta. This is the Major Glow Lip Shine in the shade She's an Influencer. My friend Kim, who you may know as Be The Light 81 on Instagram, she's also my real life friend and an absolute treasure of a human. She loves this Patrick Ta Major Glow Lip Shine, so I will blame her for that being on my list. Next in the world of these probably all look the same <laughs> lip colors, two from Dior. The Dior Lip Glow, which is a kind of beloved beauty guru product that I've never tried. There's also a lip glow oil. I love a lip oil. Would I get both of those in the shade Rosewood? Yes, I would. That would be $70 for two Dior lip products. <laughs> Hence why I don't own them. Last for lips is from Laneige. I love the Laneige Lip Glowy Balms. You always hear about the lip sleeping mask. I've never tried it. It gets so much hype. So, you know, since we're in fantasy land, why not? We can afford it. Throw it in the cart. The next section of my cart is dedicated to cheek products. Another Dior product. <laughs> I'm just living my best fantasy life buying all kinds of designer makeup in my dreams. Next is another Dior product. It's the Backstage Glow Face Palette in the shade Glitz. I have the original one, the first one that came out. It's so beautiful. The powders are just soft and pretty and the perfect amount of shine. They're not too glittery. They're not too metallic. They're just lovely. They're a treat to use and if I could get more shades in that powder, I would. The other cheek products in my cart are from Kosas. If you haven't seen my Kosas video, I did a little mini Kosas haul and I loved the blush duo that I got. It was like some sort of magic on my cheeks. It genuinely made my skin look better and more beautiful. I don't know how, I don't know what magic is in here. It must be kind of expensive magic because it's $34 for a little blush duo. But you know, in this scenario, money is not much of an object. I would get the Pressed Powder Duo in the shade Longitude Zero. It's a little bit cooler, pinkier take on that formula that I already love. And I also wanna try their cream formula. I've heard great things about their cream cheek products. So I would get the Cream Blush and Highlighter Duo in the shade Tropic Equinox. I kind of just want to buy this anyway because I feel like I would love it. I feel like I'm gonna love it. Should I just get it? Ooh, okay. Wow. This tag is dangerous. Emily, why? Whew. Okay. After cheek products, I would go and pick up some very fancy lady foundations. These are three that I've heard such good reviews on and I'm pretty sure I would love them. I'm pretty sure my dry skin would love them. If money was no object, I would buy all three of these foundations. The Kosa's Tinted Face Oil. Probably gathered that I love oil products of all kinds, so I would probably love that. You know, while I'm being a fancy lady in Sephora with my fancy lady cart, since we're going crazy, why not just pick up some super expensive foundations from Dior, like the Face and Body Foundation, or the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush flawless longwear foundation. Fun fact, I haven't purchased any Charlotte Tilbury items ever. A long, long, long time ago, years ago when I was still doing Octoli, I got some little mini lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury, but I've never purchased any of her products. They're just, they're really expensive and I just don't know. But hey, I would love to try it, so who knows? Let me know if any of those foundations are really good, if you've tried any of them. Whew, my cart is filling up fast. So far we have 
$858 worth of product and I somehow managed to spend the rest of my budget with only two items. <laughs> and they are skincare items. This one is from Drunk Elephant. It's the Sukari Baby Facial. I can't tell you how many people have told me this is a game changer. I recognize that this is probably just an incredible product. It's $80 for one skincare item. I just feel like that's so crazy. I mean, I love my fourth ray and my The Ordinary products, so uh, I just... The only way I'm buying this is in a Sephora fantasy cart tag. And the very last item is something that I've actually used in the past and I really, really liked. I just couldn't quite bring myself to repurchase it because it is a $60 item. It's from Belief. It's the Pete Miracle Revital Serum. I had purchased this in a little mini kit a, quite a while ago and I loved this serum so much. As soon as I used up the little mini serum, I was on Sephora ready to repurchase it. Then when I realized how expensive the full size item is, I didn't. But I can tell you for sure, this is the one item that I've actually used and I can say it's amazing. It's really, really good. It's just so expensive. I hope that was as much fun for you as it was for me. I really enjoyed curating this fantasy cart and just shopping, we'll put that in air quotes, shopping with no limits on the Sephora site. I would love to hear what you would purchase if you had just a thousand dollar free reign at Sephora. Also, if you've tried any of the products that I listed in my video here today, I would love to hear your thoughts on them. Let me know how they worked for you, if they were great, if they weren't so great. I get so many good recommendations and great advice from you. So thank you so much for that. Make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I don't know. I don't know how to be normal. I forget. Vanille. Vanille. Sometimes I just feel like I'm rambling and it makes no sense at all. We'll see when I edit. La 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 la. You persuade me to buy a lot of products. It doesn't take much. I recognize that. Okay, back to the makeup. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting weird. It's getting real weird in here. A little bit. I don't need that. I don't need that in my life. But you know, it's man, they're expensive. Shit expensive. Oh, I can't say that. It's a bad word. I don't need to buy anything. Wow, this tag is dangerous. Why? <laughs> oh, it's so pricey. Okay. Whew. All right. I hope that was fun. I felt like I was a hot rambling mess in this one. It was probably fine, right? It was fine, right? Eh, yeah. Okay. Mm, uh. All right. I gotta go do grown-up stuff. See you later, alligator. Why did I just say that? That was so... I'm like such a mom. Oh, <laughs> uh, somebody send help. Okay. Okay. I gotta go. Okay. Bye.